Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Senior Applications Engineer. And in this video we'll be showing you a clever trick for creating a reference plane anytime, anywhere, using only a single point or vertex and your monitor as the references using the Parallel to Screen option. Now for those of you who are newer to the software, please be aware that this is a more advanced technique. And while it is simple to create a plane using this method, there is not much in the way of design intent behind it. This means that down the road, if you change the size or shape of your model, there's a good chance that any features based off this type of plane are going to break, and you'll be stuck fixing them. So please use this trick with caution, and never build an entire design around it. Alright, let's suppose I'd like to clean up the fillet blending on this corner of the model we have here. Now the traditional approach would be to delete the faces we don't like, and then use sketching curve tools like spline on surface and face curves to create trim tools to clean up the edges of the surface, and then patch it in using a filled surface. Now this is absolutely the technique I would normally recommend because it will rebuild nicely as the model changes. But it's a lot more work, so if you're in a rush and you're willing to sacrifice some design intent, or especially if you're working with imported models, creating a plane parallel to your screen can really work wonders here. First you'll want to position your model such that the screen is looking straight on at all the faces you want to work with. This is more of an art than a science, so just try to get close and know that you may have to make some adjustments. You'll need to have either a vertex or a point to select as a reference, so you may want to start a quick 3D sketch and place a sketch point on the surface if you don't have a good vertex to use. Then access the Features tab on the Command Manager, go to Reference Geometry, and select Plane. Select a vertex or a point if you created one as your first reference, and then click the third available button. This will create a plane coincident to the selected point or vertex that is parallel to the screen in its current orientation. You're now free to rotate the model to see the result. The orientation of the plane will not update unless Update Plane is selected here. If needed, you can specify an offset distance from the point or vertex, and you can reverse the offset direction with the available checkbox. Once the plane is completed, you can treat it just like any other plane and use it for sketching, intersections, surface trimming, splitting, or any number of other commands. You can always edit the plane in the future to update the orientation if needed. This can be especially helpful if the model is changed and the plane needs to follow suit. In this case, I'm going to use the newly created plane to create a quick split line sketch, which I'll use to break up the faces of this corner in a clean way so that they can then be deleted with the delete face command using the tangent fill option. And this will result in a nice blended corner that looks quite a bit better than the original. Since the split line tool that I'm using relies on projection to work properly, none of this would be possible using the default planes, and creating a plane in this orientation using the other available methods would be very difficult, if not impossible. Remember though, this video is about creating planes, not blending surfaces, and this is not the approach that we would typically recommend for this type of work. If you'd like to learn how to build robust surface patches with solid design intent that won't break when you change your model, be sure to see the video Enhanced Workflows for Fillet Blends, which we've linked in the description below, or consider visiting our training page at hawkridgesys.com to enroll in a full instructor-led surface modeling training course. Other specialized uses for creating planes parallel to the screen include setting up custom section views, as you can see here where I can select the newly created plane as my cutting reference. You can also apply custom logos to parts and map decals among many other applications. So how do you expect to use this new capability? We'd love to hear how you're using the software, so let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and be sure to subscribe for more tech tip videos like this one every week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.